Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to the Panther franchise here on Madden 23. It's the 2023 NFL playoffs, and the Carolina Panthers have risen from obscurity to be the number one team in the NFC. Uh, and this week, if we're going to make our way to the Super Bowl, we're going to have to do it by going through our division rival, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Tampa Bay Bucks have not beat us this season. We are 2-0 against them in this season, but they are a team on paper that seem a little bit better than us. Chris Godwin has been a problem for us in those games. Um, and the quarterback, who we've been to date, been able to get some pretty good pressure on, um, has, uh, has been good all season. And so we are very interested to see if we can do what we can to get to the Super Bowl. And of course, that's what we want to do. Um, but this season's in a way already pretty, uh, pretty much a, a win for us. We are only expecting to get seven or eight wins this season. Um, and, you know, we didn't. Um, and we got that pretty early on. Then went on like a seven or eight, like I think it's an eight or nine game winning streak in order to uh, really move up in the rankings uh, in the way that we have. So I don't know if we're playing better than our than our stats are and we're about to see that we are. But I don't know. We're just going to go for the ride uh, in this particular scenario. Probably some of you guys, if you missed it in the last video, uh, you're going to see on there to the right that Raheem Blackshear did not get the rushing leading uh rushing leader title this year uh he's about 40 yards shy of that derrick henry will do that but we'll talk a little bit more about all of those things very soon but i say let's go ahead and jump into this game with the tampa bay bucks it's the division playoffs and it is an exciting time let's go All right, it's here. We're here in Carolina. We are the home team. And it looks like we're gonna face a little bit of a cloudy, cloudy weather, a little bit of an overcast, but it doesn't matter because uh, the Panthers are ready and excited for this game. Bryce Young, Raheem Blackshear, uh, and Tyrone Lucas leading the offense while Brian Burns and Tyrone Porter and Von, uh, oh, I forgot the linebacker's name, Von Bell. Von Bell is also leading this defense. This is going to be an interesting one. Uh, we've not had a problem with Tampa Bay. Actually, they've been blowout games in the last two games, which makes me worry. That means that maybe uh, we're going to run into some issues in this one. But Bryce Young, his first playoff game in this uh, in his career, as well as some other the young players in on this team, this will be their first time getting a taste of playoff action. So with no further ado, here we go. And the kick is out of bounds and Brian Holman, the rookie quarterback for the Tampa Bay Bucks, has what it takes with this team to maybe go all the way. This is a very good team on paper. Brian, Brandon Holman, 38 touchdowns, 18 interceptions, almost 5,000 yards passing. Was leading the league in passing at some point in this season and kind of started to pull away. Players like Russell Gage, players like Michael Evans, Ty, uh, Tony Pollard uh, provide plenty of options for him as he has to deal with uh, some of this defense. So we'll see what happens. They give the ball to Pollard. Who looked to find some room and gets a couple yards, three or four yards on his first run of the day. And the Panthers are definitely looking to disrupt. Holler with the catch, and he gets uh, nine yards on that play. Oh, he gets about five yards on that reception. Third and inches. This defense wants to disrupt the rhythm of the quarterback. That is the big thing. Ball is thrown out, and good job by the defense to keep the pressure on the quarterback and give him no targets to throw to. So now it's fourth and inches, and we are kicking this ball. Fourth 
Lucas with the catch. Gets taken down by the punter. Bryce Young comes out, had a tough season. Uh, if you just look at him, the Panthers have played well despite his season, but 29 interceptions is an egregious amount. 31 touchdowns and just over 4,000 yards. Uh, but for a large part of this season, the passing game was put on the shelf in favor of the run. And I believe that decision has <clears throat> really helped this team find an identity and create some momentum. Pass over the, over the right, and it's a fumble. Lucas, with the catch, gets hit and drops the ball. And on the first play of the game, the Panthers turn the ball over. Thumbs up. And that's just a big hit. Tough. All right, defense, we need you one more time. First and 10 on the 44-yard line. Goodman Godwin has been a tough player for us all season, and Holman finds his target on the right, breaks a couple tackles, and gets 20 yards on that reception. It's going to be a tough one. Holman throws it behind Ev Evans, who I believe was wide open. He throws that ball more accurately than I believe that's probably a touchdown. Second and 10. Hoping this isn't a run. Quarterback runs. Gets about four yards. Third and six. Ball is tipped away by Jackson, and so the Tampa Bay Bucks are going to have to go for a field goal here in the rain. Should be a doable field goal, though. Kick is up, and it's right down the middle, and good for three. And the Panthers weather the storm a little bit of that first fumble to only allow for three points. First and 10 on the 34-yard line. First and 10 on the 34. Raheem Blackshear with three yards. Second and seven on the 37-yard line. Ball goes back to Blackshear. Breaks the tackle on David for a second. Third and two now. Let's hope we can find two yards. Oh, I think I could have just kept running to the right there. That's a first down. Hatch made by Lucas. No, he couldn't bring his feet in. Second and ten. He was out there waving his arms. When you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help. I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention. Third and seven. In scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. 
Pass to Lucas. Uh, second catch of the day. Should be his third. This time he does not fumble it, though. Which is always a good thing. First to 10 on the 32. Pass made to Hayden, Hayden Hurst. He gets the catch. And that's going to move the chains as well. Panthers coming out with short passes. Getting the ball out of their hands quickly. With the rain, you have to keep the ball pretty, uh, pretty short. It's first and 10 right on the 20-yard line. Blackshear breaks a few tackles, and he's in for the touchdown. Let's go. Raheem Blackshear. And that is. He broke one, found some room, and he was. Oh. He's got a definitely, I mean. After this season, win or lose on this game right here, Raheem Blackshear has got to go up in um, his death trade. I mean, if he's if he stays at star, he's got to at least get to superstar. He's been playing really great. And for 79, I think he's at this point playing around 77 or 79. Um, traditionally, a, a sort of shifty back. Uh, he's starting to break a few little tackles. Yeah, I think that's great. And a hit. Owusu Koromoa finds the quarterback and makes the tackle. Causes a second and 18. And this is what we've been, we think we've been able to do against this team is to come in and create some pressure on the quarterback. They want to get rid of the ball quickly. And they do. They find Michael Evans. I think for the first time, we, we so rarely say his name. Third and 14. Pass is overthrown, and Brandon Holman is three for seven. And, uh, Bucks have to punt. Kick is up. Wind is definitely affecting trajectory of the ball. Panthers get the ball here on the 38-yard line. Second and 10 on the 38. Throwing again on second and 10. Young. Pass made to Jonathan Mingo. And he makes the catch. First and 10 on the 19. Want to run the ball here. Levante David would not be blocked. Second and six. A good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Nice catch. Tyler Scott with the catch. That's the end of the first quarter with the Carolina Panthers playing extremely well, minus the fumble. Able to come out and take care of business. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the football. As they go Looks crowded. First and goal. And the slot man goes in motion left. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. 
And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. Second and goal on the six. Second down and goal. Yard. Room to run up the middle, and Bryce Young finds the end zone for the TD. And it's a 14 to three lead for Carolina. Seattle with the win over New York, 45 to 31. Winner of this game will face the Seattle Seahawks for a chance to go to the Super Bowl dance. Holman's got to figure out what he's doing here. Can he get this offense on track? Can he do it? Nice tackle. Wusu Kormoa able to track down Tony Pollard. And only allow a single yard gain. I'm going to play off a little bit. That looked like it was supposed to be a screen pass, but we didn't come in. I'm not sure what that play was. Pass is thrown to no one. Brandon Holman just can't get it right. And the AFC looks like the Kansas City Chiefs are going to beat the Denver Broncos to move on. First and ten. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things Oh, I didn't know he was over there. Four yard game by Blackshear. Looking for Hurst maybe over the middle. From the thirty on second down. Young. He's got his big tight end. There he is. Breaks one tackle. That, my friends, is the swagger dance. Not quite sure what that's about, but whatever. First and 10 on the 43. Oh, Hurst was wide open. Blackshear still making, <laughs> broke a couple tackles. Gets to the one yard line. Nice run by Raheem. Nice play. Blackshear has 62 yards today. Solidified himself as somebody you got to deal with if you're going to come and face the Panthers. Second and ten. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Back to throw here. This one to Chosen Anderson. He makes the catch. And that's the first down. I haven't said his name in a little bit. Yards that time as that'll move the chains. 
This one you expect to find Lucas for the touchdown, and he's been a touchdown machine down here in the red zone. Tyrone Lucas. He's got, he had 16 touchdowns in the regular season. Nice play. The young player stepped up and got rid of Adam Thielen and really opened up some opportunities for these younger players. Lucas has really kind of turned out to be the guy we look to in the red zone, which is kind of what Thielen was for us. He's turned out to be a pretty sure-headed target once we get closer to the pay dirt. So first and 10 on the 19, as we've got an 18-point lead. Here in the first half, Derek Brown is in. No, not Derek Brown. Brian Burns. Wow! Just pushes back that that center and makes it go. Second and nineteen. Intercepted by Jackson. And Dante makes a play in the, in the end zone. I mean, in the, uh, in the playoffs. Bad throw by Brian Holman. This might go to Scott on the outside. I figured that would happen. But I thought I'd try it. He looked like he was open. Second and goal on the eight. Third and goal. Oh, and the linebacker. Plays the. We're on a kick to field goal. Kick is up and good in 24 to 3. Panthers. Everything going according to plan for this first playoff game for so many. Young players on this team. Three minutes left in the second quarter. If they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know, they're going to want to try and get a big play right away. Tony Pollard looking for room, gets about four yards on the run. Second and six. I think they're going to try to run this. Oh, they're going to try to pass it. And the pass is overthrown. The young quarterback, it may just be too much for him. Stage may be too big for Brandon Holman, Brian Holman. Boom, hit by Henderson. Henderson's been coming off of the edge the last few weeks. We can have it on quarterbacks. There he is. Just goes around Pollard. Comes up and gets the quarterback from behind. Fourth and 11. This defense is playing well today. Jake 
Hard by Lucas. He's got some room. Ooh. Tried to cut it back to the right. 32 is injured. We might try this screen pass. We don't call it very much. And Tampa Bay is not particularly blitzing. But let's just see what we can do with it. There he is. And we do get the first down with that with that play. First and ten. Doesn't need to be that hard, sir. He's like six yards away from you. Yeah, deliver a, ball, a, a catchable ball. Second and ten. Ooh, almost had it on the outside there. Third and five. Nothing going. Levante David not having it. So it's fourth and six now. And we will go ahead and punt this. Kicker is up. Kick is up. And caught on the 13 yard line. 26 seconds left in this half. Panthers playing extremely well. Happy with. The results of this half so far. Oh, caught. Russell Gage rescues the quarterback. That'll be the end of the first half, ladies and gentlemen. The Panthers 24, the Buccaneers 3. Coach Paul Jackson has his team just about ready to go. 127 yards passing, 78 yards rushing for the Panthers under 100 yards total for our opponent. As we mentioned earlier, Seattle gets the win against the New York Giants. Winner of this game will face the Seattle Seahawks. Who are on a little bit of a momentum themselves. Panthers receive the ball this half. That's going to start second half here. I see Rice with the catch. And we'll run to the 34 yard line. And we're coming back to the run. Let's see what they have. Blackshear breaks the first tackle. Good to see it. All right, so they are definitely playing the pass. I mean, playing the run. Looking for Hurst if we can get. Oh my gosh. Hurst is open. Third and nine. Oh, uh, another A it was a good pass. Oh, no, it wasn't a good pass. It was a it was a bad pass. Yeah. And he drops the ball. I don't think they just wanted us to. We did not uh, do what we needed to do to. Uh, mm. To get the first down. I feel like I feel like in that one, computer just didn't want it, didn't want us to get it. As we were wide open on a couple of plays, both of those plays were wide open, and were completely mishandled. Come back to the second and eight. Hopefully this is not a run up the middle. Okay, it's not. Pass to the tight end and he gets the catch. Typically by the end of the game, 
Holman does end up throwing to his tight end quite a bit. Oh, nice catch. Ooh, there's a fumble, but it's out of bounds. Brian Burns runs over Russell Gage. So it doesn't matter. It ends up not mattering. First and 10 on the 40. I was going to say, this offense is looking like they want to get something done, but we want to try to find a way to, again, disrupt their action. Michael Evans, and he does get the touchdown for the Tampa Bay Bucks. Mike Evans, catch and go for a 60 yard touchdown for the Bucks, and maybe that'll get that offense ignited a little bit. who caps it with a touchdown reception. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded right around the eight. I probably could have kept going to the right. I thought I could cut back in on, on that one guy. First and 10 on the 28-yard line. Down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. Whew. I was worried about that. The pass needed to be right. Man uh, Mingo shows up and gets the uh, gets the uh, catch. And they bring the big tight end across the formation left. Here's a handoff out of the gun. First down. This is probably going to Mingo. Let's see what that linebacker does. Oh, linebacker steps back. Nice pass and catch to Raheem Blackshear. It's a pretty safe play for us. First and ten. Catch over the right side to Tyrone Lucas. Nice pass by Bryce Young. Nice throw, 23 yards. Also had Mingo. Might have been, yeah, maybe not a touchdown, but offensive line providing us plenty of time. Oh no, I threw it to the wrong guy. Come on, Rice. Rice hits him with the hit stick, but ah, interception. Now if we can't, um, we need we need something here. Come on, defense. That was my fault. Pass was my fault. First and 10 on the 49 now. Oh, Pollard. Working two tackles, three. Gets the first down for 10 yards. He's got 23 yards total on five rushes. Let's see what we want to do here. I'm thinking they're going to run it. They do run it, and he runs right into the crowd. Second and 11. Go by Wusu Koromoa, and he was a solid pickup for us. We traded quite a bit to get him. He's playing so much better than whoever it was before him. I think we gave up Fender Esch and someone else. 
Nice play by the defense. And that's fourth and 13. It's either a big field goal or a punt. And the defense does the work it needs to do. Kick is up. And that's going to put us on the two-yard line. Nice punt by the Bucks. First and, first and 10 on the two. All right. Lucas breaks out and gets the catch and a little more room for this offense. Nice play by Tyrone. First and, first and 10 on the 15. Second and seven. Nice catch. Scott with the catch. Able to catch and turn up the field. Nice play. Nice some room and he's able to turn the corner. And the thing about this team is we've got young receivers that are pretty athletic. We just don't have good receiver skills fully yet. Oh my gosh. Another interception. Well, again, I think this is my fault. I mean, I, I am making this, in this case, I'm making this pass. He does look open to ideas to try to get it to him. Uh, I thought I tossed it high, but the linebacker able, actually, it doesn't look like it's a very high pass at all. But interception and Bryce Young having a tough day on the paper. On paper. He's out of bounds. Second and 10. Third quarter with three seconds left. Bucks down two touchdowns. Looking to score on this drive to pretty much make this game a game. And Pollard. It's eight rushes and 20, tar 20 yards. And that's the end of the third quarter. Going into the fourth, do or die. Buccaneers are starting to play a little bit better. Defense is playing better. Offense has also played better. Third and 10. Catch is made, but it's not enough for the first down. Catch and falls out of bound. Russell Gage brings it in, and now they've got a choice to make. They're going to go for the field goal. 57-yard field goal. Kick is up and no good. Wow. Hits the, uh, well, he has the leg. He just didn't have the accuracy. Look at that. He hits the bar, the, the fans, the stadium bar. Okay, first and 10 on 47. Give me a block. Come on, 47. I need a stronger block than that. Let's go ahead and try to run this ball. Second and seven. Third and five. Mingo. We're going to go for this. I 
think we can make it. No, we cannot. Oh, we had square. But, uh, dang it. Okay. Well, what happened here? I was looking for him, and then I was looking for Hurst. And didn't have either one of those guys. But there's Mingo. And we should have went to Mingo. Even though he just dropped the pass on us. Okay. Or even better, we should have just punted the ball. The defense is playing well. Tony Pollard, 19 yards. Total. A second and 11. Omen finds his tight end, Otto. I think it's Otto. Aden? What's his name? Let's see what it is. Aden. C. Aden. We'll just call him Cotton. Let's see if we can get this quarterback. We want to. Oh, getting tackled him? And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Good Brandon Holman with the quick pass. And again, it seems like in the fourth quarter, that's when we see this tight end. This might be a run. Nice tackle by number 95, Derek Brown. We're going to stay in this dime formation didn't have anything up the middle stay here all right interception on the left side that's what we're calling it we're calling it interception on the left interception on the left no oh oh he caught that and held on Michael Maurice Evans or Mike Evans Oh, I was looking right at him too. Okay, so it's the fourth quarter with four minutes left. They're getting ready to score. And they scored. I knew they would. So Kate Odden with the touchdown. He uh is hype. And that's gonna be a one score game and with the way the the way that we're playing right now, this is not a sure thing. Three minutes in the ham, three minutes, 45 seconds left in the game. I think uh, the last three, two or three, I don't know, two of the last three, three of the last four. But we've had a lot of interceptions and turnovers. All right, uh, let's go. Not nothing going there. They are anticipating the pat uh, the run. Yeah, they're anticipating the run. Catch by Trimble. Let's go. All the play action out of out of the I form. Runs up the middle. 
Black just got room. And that's a first down for Raheem. He's got over 100 yards in this game. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I did realize, I just learned though, how to cancel the play action. I guess you just double click the X. Didn't know that. I knew there was a way. Third and eight. Two minute warning. And if we kick the field goal here, I think we're all right. Intercepted. Another interception. Oh, man. This is not good. Let's take a look at this play here. The play is supposed to go to Mingo. And probably could have went to Lucas. But it goes to Mingo. And it, I think he overthrows it. Nah, I should I shouldn't have thrown it to Mingo. That's just that's just a bad decision on my part. All right. Well, the defense has saved us all season, and they're calling on you to save us again. Hollered up the middle with a run, and that's not going to do it. That one with the catch. We're going with a no huddle. Ball knocked away this time. All right, so we're going to come out. Let's go, Henderson. Henderson, get in there. Third and four. Ball is caught out of bounds, and that's a no-go. And this is the play right here. Can we get them off of the field? We're going to stay in the sugar week. Our players are tired as heck. We're going to come out in the cover three sky with a little pressure on the right side. Cole is going to come up to cover this little area. And the ball is knocked away by Rodgers. Nice play by the defender. Comes up and knocks away the ball. And that's going to deliver us our first win. It ought to. After what will be a tough. Well, I don't think we can just kneel yet. They've got three timeouts. So we've got to get a, a first down. We have to get a first down. Dang it. That's not good. Okay, Lucas. Come on. All is overthrown. My goodness. Bryce Young, what kind of pass is that? Kick is up. Oh. Boy, I was trying to I was trying to take that dude's head out. Tampa Bay with all the momentum right now. Down 
And we're just going to play off the ball. Burns. And number seven comes in and gets to the quarterback. And that's a sack. Big play. They've got to go deep. Tampa Bay looking for space to get that off. They don't get it. Intercepted by Wusu Koromoa. And I love that he's going to be the guy that seals it. Touchdown for the Carolina Panthers. Jeremiah Owusu Koromoa. That is going to do it. What a messy game by this offense. Panthers fans are going crazy in the stands. And with seven seconds left, the Panthers go up two touchdowns. With seven seconds left in this game, the kick is up. And there will be a return. And it leaves about four seconds on the play clock. A little drama for your playoff. And Tyree Wilson ends, ends the game on a sack. And that will do it, ladies and gentlemen. The Panthers move on to face the Seattle Seahawks for an opportunity to go to the big dance. And for the third time this year, they take out the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Man, what a tough day. Solid first half. Messy, messy, messy second half. Bryce Young has got a lot of growing up to do. A lot of passes were overthrown, some bad decisions made, but all in all, the defense comes up and um, delivers the win. Rashid, uh, Raheem Blackshear also plays well. Bryce Young with three interceptions, one touchdown, 227 yards. Oh man, Raheem Blackshear, 110 and a touchdown. Lucas with five catches, 67 yards. Blackshear with three. Scott with two. But we do have a lot of drops. It was raining today, so we had four drops by all of those players. And defensively, Xavier Woods and Larry Payne leads the team with tackles. Larry Payne with two tackles for loss. CJ Henderson in with a sack and has four tackles. Interceptions today by Jeremiah, Jeremiah Wusu Koromoa with a pick six. And Dante Jackson had an interception earlier in the game. And there was a fumble forced by Brian Burns, who gets the, credit, gets the credit for that. And Dante Jackson, I believe, or was it? Who picked up the recovery? Oh, it wasn't a recovery. So we did it, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. Moving on to the next phase. We're not gonna be able to <laughs> not gonna be able to do it with uh with the way we're playing, but we want to keep um keep the momentum the momentum going. The defense is again keeping us in this thing. Tyrone Porter playing really well. 80 man, he just right now is playing extremely well. We're gonna go with hybrid because that's kind of how he's been playing. And the rookie, this is a rookie, y'all. He's up to 82 by the end of, well, he's probably up to 80. I think his morale has him up too. Um, but we have got a very good basis for this, uh, for the future of this team. And maybe, maybe even this season. They fought us. They thought they had us figured out, but we're one step ahead of the whole game. Such a great feeling to see a better rival home. Your defense will have plus five hit power for the next game. And we've earned some stat points. Sure, we'll take those. 
Huge congrats on the playoff win, Coach. Let's see if we can keep the ball rolling and pick up another one this week. First of many, you have earned seven staff points. Great, fantastic. All right, so we're up to 140 on staff points. Haven't used those, but definitely want to. Not really, I'm gonna hold on to them because we might run into, I don't know, some stuff. All right, so up against the Seattle Seahawks. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, if you are still here, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We have played the Seattle Seahawks before and uh, I think we know who they are so the next um, next video will have us against them that'll do it hope you have a good rest of your day this is Pastors Game 2 God loves you and so do I and I will see you when I see you peace